Rudd, Tony, just tell us about some of the things in here. Well, as you see, you've seen the back doors there. We've got part of uh, one of the columns when, when you walked in. We had to cut that out because it was made of girders. Those are the radiators, which were in there as well. This is a desk that was upstairs at the, uh, at the club. It uh, comes all the way around here, fixed onto there. There's an eight-foot piece of glass that goes onto that, held up by girders, which are a favourite. Everything over the top for the Hacienda. And what about this? That's the bit of the dance floor. In, a, in an exhibition last year when uh, Colin Gibbons had all his factory stuff on, uh, on show, there was a lad there who was doing security for him, had to take seven lads off there, all pogoing up and down, <laughs> bouncing up on it, you know. So it's, it is a favourite, it's a favourite of Manchester, it's a favourite of our town and hopefully get it all back together. One of your mates has been on this, isn't he? he just, well, I dug it out the other day and uh, he just started stroking it and saying he's got goosebumps, you know. And I think uh, it's, it's, uh, it's loved, you know. And hopefully it shouldn't be down here, really. It should be on show. Maybe in a future future museum in Manchester or something like that, you know. And, uh, and so everybody can see it. It's a, bit, it's a bit wasted down here. I mean, we buzz off him, you know, and like the back doors especially, great big chunks of steel, you know. The girls' sinks have just been stuck in a corner for ages. <laughs> but, uh, but the rest of it could, could, and especially with Tony Wilson, you know, our spokesman. Speak to me, Tony. You know, it's like he, he needs he needs more recognition and a statue. Uh, just tell us one more thing. Is it Tony's signature? Tony. Uh, just tell us about some of the signatures on this. Dave yeah. Hazlitt was on North West tonight, tonight and Tony Wilson. Right, I don't know whether he remembers it. You know, it's a while ago now, but the other DJs were on it. But Tony Wilson as well, you know, like we all miss Tony. He's down there. Peter Hook, another good spokesman for Manchester, really, because uh, without Tony there, who is talking about it, you know, so. What about the experiences of the club itself? I mean, what was it like? Well, was that the end of its head? Well, it was, just, it was just booming. You walk in and you feel like, you, you know, your chest is going to explode and that. But, I mean, I was saying to John the other day, it's like, on a Wednesday night, you go in and have the best night of your life. And then on a Friday night, it would be the best night of your life. And then next Wednesday would be the best night of your life. And then it carried on like that for a while, you know. So it, it was it was special. I mean, people go on about it, but it's it's like it was special for a reason. And there was nothing happening like that here. And and we exported it around the UK. All started here from the states, you know. Uh, and just tell us about the the, the dance floor. Um, yeah. Just tell us how this is. It's not just a little piece we've seen before. This is a huge chunk of it. Yeah. Well, they it? sold that in different sections. They sort of said, uh, right, who's going to start the bidding? And I think it was two hundred quid. And it and it. And he said, how many do you want? And, and my brother goes, well, just one. You know, and then, uh, so then there was another section sold. And it, with hindsight, we'd have bought the lot, took it on tour, you know, would have been great. But, you know, potentially, you know, like this programme that Chris has done, you know, he's going gonna, gonna to find all these pieces and people are coming out the woodwork and, you know, they've, they've all got them, they've all kept them. Most things are still here. So uh, getting them all together, in it, you know. And As a final point, just tell us about the reaction again that people have given you having this it's been quite funny hasn't it yeah yeah i mean uh, a pal the other day he uh, he 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 said no way so he still got that and he started stroking it and uh, he said he's got goosebumps now thinking about it you know it's like i think that do that to most people and and a bit ago at, at this other exhibition of uh, colin gibbons with a factory everything that factory have ever done he he, uh, he had a lad there, and it was on display in this uh, in the ice plant, and uh, he had to remove about seven people off it. You know, we were all just huddled on it, dancing as, as they used to. You know, so a lot of a lot of history, and you know, we've got to keep our history, haven't we? You know. Cool. Um, I think it's cut away. Is it? I'm mixing it. If we had it in the city. People would have to come yeah, yeah. to the city to see it. Is. I mean, we're, we're testing the BBC. The BBC's come to Salford or part of yeah. it. Yeah, it, it can happen. It can it's work. a start. Yeah, it's, it's a definite start. So yeah. why it's not? The home of it, 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 it wouldn't sit right in London. It's, it's no. the home of it. Yeah, yeah, it's totally. It, so. No. Totally. No, it's a bit. It's a big. Uh, it's it's a big part of our history. And I mean, I'm a bit of a conspiracy theorist anyway. But they don't like having history. Do you know what I mean? They like so our musical culture completely got reproduced again, exactly the same as the Northern with the house. We imported it from the states, where the states didn't even want it. You know, 
we took this specialist music and just had it up here in the north, mm. you know, and it's like, uh, you, you know what I mean? But why would it happen twice? You know, like that, dead similar. Yeah, so yeah, it booms, yeah. you know, and just sort of takes off, explodes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you go, you go to the football museum, wouldn't you? Yeah. The next on your list would be the music museum yeah. and music, wouldn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. And, and the thing that I wanted to tell you really today on camera, because it's not, not widely known, but in the, in the what's it? Uh, in the Science and Industry Museum, Tony Wilson's and Rob Gretton's collections are in there, but they're in archive, and you've got to book right. an appointment to go and see it. And it's not even it's not even there. You know, it's not it's not available to see. And it's like you are come on, let's dig them out. That you know. Weird. Right, everyone so. on it. Got my feet as well. Yeah, a bit of a dance on it. I can't put my feet on. Oh, it. Move, 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 move shaking. I don't have the biggest geek ever. Well, it's only your feet. <laughs> hey, you did put me fancy chainers on, you rum fucker. <laughs> rum fucker, look at them babies. <laughs> Fell off it. No breaking it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right. Okay. and every time we move it, he chip bits on it. You know, like, so I lost a bit of a fire exit sign last time, and then I chip little bits of this laminate, you know, and it just drives, drives you nuts, you know. So it could, it could, it, you know. I mean, it looks a bit thin, but but it is. It's the one in it, so it's not. Like, well, two of them, and it's like. But there was nowhere else to store them, you know. I was lucky to to have the seller here. Have you seen? Have you seen the guy's arrival? What he's done with it? Uh, has he put a light uh, in what's it in um, in the football museum? You can press a button, can't you, and and have this interactive thing. Well, I was thinking. You get the floor down, and then you have a choice. You know, you can have hip hop house or yeah. <laughs> or indie or something like that. Yeah, you know what I mean? Good. And uh, and and you know, if people are actually dancing on the real thing, you know, a bit the Japanese should be owned by the council. It should be owned by Manchester. Do you know what I mean? They shouldn't let. It'd be a tourist thing. Oh, it? easy! It'd be, it'd be big time. And like I say, everybody that come, they'd be like this little diversion. They might not come for it on its own, mm. but there'd be this. Oh, let's go and do that. Mm. Oh, oh yeah, we yeah, missed yeah. that this time. Yeah, we'll yeah. go again. You know. And it's like, and we'll just, we'll just push Bim and give into, uh, into what sit the relics of history, you know. But, but you know, we are already the second most visited city in in the UK, isn't it? And then they just went on tour worldwide. Yeah. So, so we kept building up all these things in Manchester, Collider and all that. Yeah. And uh, and then like that guy with a double bass, and he, he, he used to do that. Uh, the music box. Well, uh, well, he's been at the music box. Right. I missed the Thunderdome, which I'm always going to do. <laughs> I only went there once. That was fucking... I went in there once. There's kids, 13-year-old kids, whapping like that off the tits. <laughs> you know, and, and I bumped into a guy, a joiner the other day. He's a mate of Mark's. And he was saying he just used to stand in the middle of the dance floor all the kids. That he was a massive <laughs> bloke, 25 stone, drinking tenant super, watching all the kids. And they were just... You know, that Thunderdome was rum on it in there, you know. <laughs> The CDs, or is it not the same? No, I, I got into my Northern Soul yeah. like late, and t to be fair, it sort of saved me really because it was a bit fucking depressing coming down from our list. Yeah. Yeah. But, yeah. but so you just you just sort of grow out of it. Yeah, yeah. and and I think the mixed tapes, the yeah, mixed yeah. tapes would be would be a lot better. And and like I'm saying, it, there was a different sort of genre of music which you know potentially the the the, the CDs didn't get hold of do you know what I mean and especially like when you talk about these DJs you know you'd be in the clubs they'd be they'd be letting little tunes come in two hours before they play the tune yeah, yeah. and you'd start peeking you know when they yeah. do this thing you know they just do oh, that was a bar of that tune and you just hear this little ding it's coming you know and yeah. they do that wouldn't it wouldn't they though <laughs> Anything.